All right, this is Pliskin out in the garage. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking off all this flimsy paint here, right in here, so it will not uh, lift when I apply the new paint coat. So I'm starting down here. You might be able to see this. Dang. Stock keeps bumping into everything. I want to lift up all the areas where the paint comes off easy. So that way it does not lift up the new camo pattern I'm going to put down on top of it. See how much I've removed already? You want to just keep doing that until all the loose paint in that vicinity is gone. Alright. Now I am using some steel wool here on the butt, or not the butt stock, uh, the stock itself. I'm using some steel wool on the stock. And what I'm doing, so I'm removing all the areas where there's loose paint. See, I've already taken off a bunch right there. A bunch of loose paint off there. Took a good portion off the hill of the, uh, of the stalk here. And I've already taken off a lot right in here. I've already went through and degreased the area where the receiver sits because there I use a really thick grease on my M1A's bolt in fact I might do a video on how to grease the bolt of the M1A and I wiped out a large majority of the carbon buildup up here in the fore end where the gas system is so now what I'm doing is I'm using steel wool it's this right here it's called super fine steel steel wool see the something abrasive I can't read that word there right here yeah but it's called the final finish super fine it's an older bag don't see no date on it but this is the type of steel wool I'm using. I don't think uh, the type matters. Steel wool is going to... Because all I'm doing is just removing paint off of my uh, M1A. Alright, let's get back to it. Yeah, it's picking it up. Okay. See, like all this loose paint right in here. Gotta get rid of all that. The paint right here is fine because it's not loose. It ain't coming off. I mean, it's got some nicks and stuff in it, but overall it's more well applied than it was down here. So, gotta remove all of this.
I bet you're all asking why aren't you using sandpaper. Well, I bet sandpaper would uh, work better, but I kind of feel like sandpaper would probably remove more of the finish underneath than I would be comfortable with. This might be doing it too, but I can't really tell. Because it's still retaining its original coating underneath. It ain't like lifting that. In some spots I have to I have to push down pretty hard on the paint. The for some reason the flat dark earth khaki paint did not apply very well. And if I remember correctly it uh, was very tacky after applying it as well very tacky so I'm not sure why that is might just be that how that type of paint interacts with stuff you put it on because the green for most parts of the gun was not very tacky after I applied it but it was only the flat dark earth that was uh, extremely tacky after being applied I don't think I really applied that much in one setting either although then again My M1A, I believe, had a, th a thin, a very thin coating of oil all on it after I, uh, when we bought it. It had a thin coating of oil on the stock. Whereas my 243, my Remington 700 243, uh, when I bought it, it was bone dry. There was no oil on it at all. That paint there isn't really wanting to come off. I mean it is, but it isn't. That kind of tells me that it, it was dried pretty well right in there. Whereas this paint right here comes right off. Like it's easy, like you can just scratch it off. Then applied like real good. See, it applied real well here in these areas right in here. Didn't apply well here, and it applied very well back here on the buttstock of the rifle, right all what right around in there. It did not apply very well up on the forearm or like right in here because you can see some discoloration already starting. Whereas opposed to the other side, it wasn't really that bad, but you can still scratch it off so that's how that is let's take it off over here on the other side and then I'll move down further on the stock I hear a helicopter must be the local National Guard out doing something I have Blackhawks around here all the time. I 
I need to get another bunch of steel wool. And that's basically what you do to remove the paint. The loose paint on your stock is you just grab a thing of steel wool, go up and down the sides of it where that paint is not applying very well. And then the next part of this little video saga probably be me painting it. So I'll see you all in that video. You gotta remember that this video here that you're watching it's probably going to be all pre-recorded because I'm going to show the gun off finished first before I do the how I did it type video, how to repaint your M1A stock. Anyway, yeah.